In this video, my friend Kat and I are going to answer some of your questions about dating Chinese guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm together with my friend Kat. Hello everyone, I'm Katrin, I'm from Switzerland and I'm staying here in Beijing together with my Chinese boyfriend. Yes, so we met online a while ago and she came from Shanghai and I'm so excited for her to be here. I have thought about a new kind of concept for a Friday talk. This talk is going to be about AMWF relationships. Asian male, Western female. <laughs> yes. If you guys have any questions about AMWF relationships or if there's anything you want to know or have any problems with this, I would love to hear from you. You can send me an email. The email address is down below in the description box. And we will do our best to answer your questions. Yes. <laughs> in today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about the problem of a boyfriend talking about our weight or just mentioning it or yeah we have a lot of stories to tell anyways so let's get into this video yay yay <laughs> so one of my followers has sent me an email recently asking about her relationship with chinese guys so i'm gonna read aloud what she sent to me you can be anonymous so if you're sending anything to me i won't mention any names so don't worry about this but yeah today's email sounds like this Hi Ling Ling, I'm a Russian girl who's into Asian guys, but I have a problem. I want to ask you about this. I met a guy in a language learning on a language learning app and we became really good friends. It's been a month and a half already and I feel so scared to meet him in Beijing. Maybe I'll look bigger than him and that would make us feel uncomfortable. But I really like him and I know he likes me too. But we're just online friends so you know reality can be different. Please give me some opinion advice the weight issue is not so important there when it comes to foreign girls or is it very important for the man to be bigger than a girl and i hope i'm not disturbing you you never disturb me don't worry about that <laughs> so yes. very good question very very good question <laughs> let's start here at the beginning so first she's scared to meet him she's nervous that she's going to be bigger than him and she's nervous about his reaction what is your advice on this actually i can really understand how she's feeling right now when i was friends with my boyfriend at the time yeah we were just friends i always knew that i had feelings for him but i felt self-conscious about the weight as well yeah. so he's typically chinese super slim a little bit smaller than i am and i always thought that we don't we don't fit together no. you have <laughs> to fit we have to fit yeah i'm a tall girl it's always like that you feel like you have to fit he has to be taller he has to be bigger like i'm mm -hmm. too big like what are we supposed to yeah. do but and i'm a tall girl how did it go um <laughs> How did it go? <laughs> so at some point, after being friends for 10 months, and I just thought, okay, I have to try it. And I mm. just kissed him. So we kissed, and from that point, we've been a couple. And it felt a little strange. I had to get used to yeah. walking around on the streets holding hands to him, and I always felt that people were staring at us because I'm taller than him. He's skinnier than I am, yeah. you know. I guess but it's very much in your head mm. as a girl, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're just <laughs> we're just thinking too much about it. I think that's the biggest issue cuz me too, for sure. Like I've also dated a guy who was just my height and I just felt huge even though when I saw a picture of us together, it was not a crazy difference. Like we looked just the same, you know, but I was like, no, this is so bad and I was looking around and like being feeling jealous of all slimmer, smaller Chinese girls. I felt so bad about it, actually. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really bad, but but it's in your head. Like, nobody ever, ever commented saying, oh my God, you're bigger than your boyfriend, or like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Like, mm. that won't happen. And I feel like if you're sending him pictures, he already has seen you. Like, if you tell him how tall you are and he has seen the pictures, like, of your full body, I feel like that's fine then, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you get used to it. Actually, mm. after, I don't know, after some time I spent with him being a couple, mm. I didn't even think about that anymore. No. And now, it's just normal. Yeah. I love him the way he is. He loves me the way I am. You know, even though we're not the, the classical Hollywood couple, <laughs> 
it, you get used to it over time. Can't tell you to not think about it because it's normal you do, mm. but just be assured you will get used to it yeah. and it's fine. Yeah, and also when you meet him, I feel like if he actually does comment on it, it's not cool. Like he's not cool then. I've tried it so many times with Chinese guys commenting on my weight or my size, but then I tell them, you know what, if you don't like what you see, leave me alone and if you do like what you see, then just sip it, you know. It's yeah. very easy like that. Just be honest with him. Tell him you're a little insecure about your body and, you know, tell him that it's not cool. I just told Kat that my rule, I have two rules. One rule is that... <laughs> One rule is that you can not use the word big about any parts of my body unless you're talking about my front part. What was the other rule? I forgot. Do not compare me to Chinese That's girls. True, yes. <laughs> Do not compare me to Chinese girls. That's the two rules I have. And I told the Chinese guys from the beginning and they're like, oh, okay, you know, like if that's the rule, then that's the rule. I guess if you're a good kisser, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Or if I like you, it's fine. So really don't be worried about it. Don't be worried. And mm. as I said, if he does say anything, just tell him to stop. And if he doesn't want to, then tell him to find another person. Yeah. At the same time, I think it's important to mention some cultural differences here. Yes. Chinese uh, yeah. are very direct when it comes to very commenting direct. on your weight, on your yeah. shape, on your Look, size, yeah. everything. Everything. So your boyfriend might tell you, you know, maybe you should wear more white clothes. Mm. It makes you make makes you look slimmer. Yeah. I, I heard that before. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> And just recently, my boyfriend told me, oh, if you wear these skinny jeans, you should wear a long, a long, a long sweater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to, you know, to hide your ties and yeah. your ass. I was like, why? Yeah, yeah Chinese <laughs> girls who are not skinny, they, they do this. Yeah. And I got really angry about that mm. comment. But, you know, as soon as you don't Cultural like something, yeah that, yeah. You, that he's saying, just tell him, you know, this remark makes For me sure. feel fat. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> makes me feel fat. Mm. I don't like you saying this to me. Mm. And please stop. Yeah. You know. And when you guys get more comfortable with each other, also just let him know that if he makes you feel fat, then he's not gonna get anything. Like it's very simple, like that, right? Mm. If oh, you're criticizing on Actually. my weight, I also have the right to tell you go to the gym, mm. build more muscles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're too slim. Yeah. But yeah. At the same time, I kind of like this skinny style as well. Mm. You know, I'm not into these super muscly. Mm. Uh, Sometimes it's usually. too much. Yeah, yeah it's too much. Mm. Yeah, I hope that this was useful if you're seeing an Asian guy and is a little nervous about it, or if you've had this experience with a guy, or I don't know if it works the other way around. I don't mm. think so. But like, as a white girl going to a place like Asia where everyone is so small, like we're just bigger sizes. A lot of us, I yeah, guess. Like, but be confident about it. Yeah. You don't have to change the way you are. Mm. You're perfect, yeah. even if you're tall, even if you're, you know, a bit overweight, mm. it's fine. All the body shapes yeah. are fine. And yeah. uh, your boyfriend or yeah. any future Chinese or other guy has Chinese to... lover. Lover <laughs> <laughs> has to make you feel comfortable the way yeah. you are. Yeah. Never For forget sure. that. Yeah. yeah. If you're uncomfortable, tell him. And if he won't change, then find another one. There are a lot of guys out there, so don't worry about it. That was all for this video, this Friday AMWF advice. The AMWF is a really hard term to say, so yeah, it is. <laughs> we don't really know what to call this, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll try our best. I guess it's just AMWF advice. I hope that you guys got a little bit out of this video. Maybe you have some experience and some advice as well. So, as well, so please let us know in the comments below what you think. Also, let us know what you think about this kind of concept. If you want to have more, see more of these kind of videos, and also as we said, if you have anything you want to know about AMWF relationships or you have any problems then please send me an email the email address is also in the description box below thank you very much to Kat for joining me she's gonna thanks be, for having me <laughs> she's gonna be my help for the next few weeks uh, let us know what you think about these kind of videos and we'll see you again very very soon right uh, give yep. us a thumbs up yes and subscribe <laughs> for more videos from Ling Ling below so we'll see you next time Ling Ling and Catherine is out see you and 再见 bye bye, bye. bye.